What's up guys, today I'm going to be teaching you how to do the player treatment in Photoshop using camera raw and adjustment layers. So this is the image we're going to be using, I already have it cut out on a different layer. You can do that by clicking quick selection tool and go to select subject. Make sure you right click and convert the image to a smart object. First, click on filter and go to camera raw filter. So over here, usually I don't mess with the temperature intent because that's subjective on what the image is being used for. Let's start over here. You want to increase the contrast. You don't want to do it too much because it makes it kind of saturated and too uh, dark in some places. I'm just going to increase it a bit, maybe around 30. The highlights are not too bright on this, so I can increase the highlights a bit uh, around that much and decrease the shadows. Now, you don't really need to do anything with the whites and blacks, you can just do the same thing with the highlights and shadows. Texture and clarity, uh, you don't want to increase the texture. You can go 100, you can go how much ever you want, but in this picture, I think I'm gonna go around 50. Usually my range is between 30 to 70, depending on what the image is. Same with the clarity, you don't want to go too much clarity because it takes away the colors. So I'm gonna leave it at around 20. Now saturation, it's up to you, whatever your image is based on what you like, and just going to increase it a tiny bit. Now in the detail section, uh, you have sharpening and noise reduction. You don't want to mess with color noise reduction. Uh, increase the noise reduction to the point where it starts looking kind of smooth. You can see over here, it's not that smooth, you increase it, and that much is fine. Maybe a bit more. Now sharpening, you want to increase the sharpening to the point. You can see in the hair, tiny sharpen over there in the hair. This makes it look more dynamic. It makes it look better overall. Next thing you're going to go to the curves. And now there's three sections of the curves. You have shadows, midtones, and highlights. So in the, you want to take down the shadows a bit. And bring up the highlights a bit. Not much, just a bit. Next, you want to go to color mixer. You don't want to mess with the colors in the color mixer too much because that may change the color of the jersey. It's like, as you can see, like this. So you want to go to the hue section. Now, first we have the reds. So, according to your picture, you can just move these sliders around around a bit and see what's right for you. So, I'm just gonna bring down these oranges a bit towards the red side, and these yellows. I don't want a lot of yellows on this, so I'm gonna bring them down all the way to the orange. Now, over here, we used texture and clarity. So that brings a lot of greens in the image. You can't see it, but then it's there when you zoom in. So you want to take these greens all the way towards this side. Next in saturation, same thing you want to take with the reds, orange, and yellows because that's what the skin color consists of. That depends on you what you want. And luminance is how light or dark the skin color will be. So you can see if I increase it, decrease it. I'm going to increase it a bit. So now you're going to get on with the camera raw. You can see how much of a difference that already makes. Now what you do is select your image. Go to select, color range. Now make sure this is selected on highlights. So over here you have uh, two sliders, fuzziness and range. So fuzziness is how smooth the selection is and range is how much of the highlights will be selected. You put all the way everything can be selected. You want a bit of a selection on skin, something like that and reduce the fuzziness a bit. That's fine. Now click here and open the brightness and contrast adjustment layer and make sure you clip it to this layer. Increase the brightness all the way up. Now click on this layer mask and increase the feathers to the point where it starts looking smooth. Think about there. You can see in, in these highlight areas, get some smoothness. Next thing you want to go is click on this icon and go to selective color. So in selective color, you have a lot of different colors to mess with, but we're only be, be going to be using reds and yellows because that's what the skin color consists of. So you go to reds, make sure you clip it. Now you want to reduce the blacks a bit and the rest of them are subjective to what your image is. Over here, I think I'm going to remove some yellows. 
more magenta and more cyan do the same with the yellows make sure you take the blacks down and do the rest on your own you don't want to go too much with this you should do, do a bit that just makes the skin look more dynamic next thing you want to do is reduce the opacity of this to maybe around 80% Now you want to go to the adjustments tab and you want to choose color lookup, zip it and click over here and choose 3 strip dot look. That gives it a reddish color, obviously it's too much right now so we're going to reduce the opacity around 40%. The bit of red makes it look better. You Now you want to go to gradient map. And click on here make sure this side is black and this side is around like an orange color now if yours is like this reverse it so that it looks similar to this you don't want like this kind of um, selection now click on here and select screen as the blending option that makes it lighter overall now reduce this to around 55% maybe a bit more about 40% that works next you want to click over here and go to filter sharpen smart sharpen we're going to sharpen the image to make it pop a bit more you want the radius to be around 1 and you don't want to increase this too much because it becomes grainy I think I'm going to put it around around 170 and make sure to reduce noise on zero then you end up with this so you can see the difference so one last thing you can do is go back to your camera raw filter if you feel some parts are too dark go in here reduce the contrast a bit and bring up the shadows And there you go, that's how you do the player treatment in Photoshop. So you can see this is the original image and this is what we have after doing it. Uh, if you enjoyed the video and it helped you, make sure you like and subscribe.